Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about the 5 best exercises to fix forward head posture. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Forward head posture, FHP, is a common condition where your head is positioned with your ears in front of your body's vertical midline. In normal or neutral head posture, your ears line up with your shoulders and midline. FHP can cause neck pain, stiffness, an unbalanced gait, and other side effects. It's also often associated with rounded shoulders, called kyphosis. The good news is that you can usually fix it. Stretching and strengthening exercises along with paying attention to good posture relieve side effects, and restores better posture. FHP is also called text neck or nerd neck, because it results from prolonged bending toward a computer screen, or hunching over a laptop or cell phone. It's also associated with the loss of muscle strength in the aging process. FHP often results from hunching over an electronic device or slumping at your desk to look at a computer screen for prolonged periods. Studies show that specific stretching and strengthening exercises, and manual therapy by a chiropractor or physical therapist can help restore normal alignment of your head and neck, and relieve side effects. Other possible causes of FHP include Driving hunched over the wheel for long periods Occupations that require you to lean forward, such as sewing Carrying a heavy backpack Long-term bad posture, such as slouching Sleeping with your head up too high or reading in bed. Injury, such as whiplash. Accommodation to pain. Muscle weakness in the upper back. Diseases such as arthritis and bone degeneration. Congenital malformation. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Many of the stretches and exercises designed to counteract FHP are simple and can be worked into your daily routine. Deep breathing can also help your posture. Here are 5 exercises to start with. One, cervical retraction. Cervical means neck and retraction means to bring back. In this key posture exercise, the goal is to bring your head back in line with your cervical spine. To do the exercise, start by sitting up straight on a chair. Tuck your chin slightly toward your chest. Holding the tuck and pressing the back of your head toward the wall behind you. It will feel as if you're moving your head a bit diagonally toward the ceiling. Hold the stretch for a few seconds, relax, and repeat. Do 20 to 30 reps at once. Or, break it up into 5 to 8 reps 4 to 5 times a day. 2. Rhomboid Strengthener The rhomboids are the muscles that support the upper back and hold it in proper alignment. They are responsible for three distinct actions, pulling the shoulder blades toward each other, lifting the shoulders up, allowing you to shrug them, and pressing the shoulders down, away from the ears. You can activate them by squeezing your shoulder blades toward each other, a move that will immediately and naturally pull your shoulders up and back, reversing the forward slump. Strengthening the rhomboid muscles, so they're more resistant to the forward pull of gravity can help reverse kyphosis and the forward head posture it causes. To perform the exercise, sit on a firm chair. Wrap your arms around your ribs as if to hug yourself. Try to touch your shoulder blades with your fingers, keeping in mind you'll only be able to reach the outside border. Walk your fingers downward to try to find the bottom tips of each blade, and then release the hug. Bring both hands behind your head, lifting your elbows to bring your forearms parallel to the floors. Holding this position, squeeze your shoulder blades toward each other to activate the rhomboid muscles. Hold for a count of five and slowly release. Repeat, this time imagining there's a quarter between your shoulder blades that you need to hold in place. This will help you increase the degree to which you squeeze the muscles. Hold for a count of five and slowly release. Three, pectoral stretch. The third exercise is a simple stretch of the muscles that span across the width of your chest, the pectoralis muscles, or pecs. When the shoulders slump forward, these muscles squeeze together and tighten up, so it's important to try to loosen them from that position. A corner pec stretch is much like a push-up at the wall, 
except that the emphasis is placed on staying in the position that causes your chest muscles to lengthen. Here are the basic moves. Stand facing the corner of a wall. With your elbows bent 90 degrees and your upper arms parallel to the floor, place your palms and forearms against each adjacent wall. Inhale and then, as you exhale, pull your abdominal muscles toward your spine to stabilize your lower back. Without moving your feet, lean your torso toward the wall until you feel a gentle stretch across the entire front of your chest. Hold for between 5 to 30 seconds, then return to starting position. 4. Chin Tucks Chin tucks can be done almost anywhere, whether sitting or standing. It helps strengthen your neck muscles. Keep your head straight and your chin parallel to the floor. Pull your chin back toward your chest, as though you're making a double chin. While your chin is tucked in, move the back of your head away from the base of your neck. Hold the position for three deep breaths. Return to a normal chin position and repeat. 5. Forward Neck Stretch this is a variation on a basic chin tuck. Standing or sitting, tuck in your chin, using two fingers of one hand. Put your other hand on the top of your head, and push gently as you pull your head toward your chest until you feel a stretch. Hold the stretch for 20 seconds. Return to a normal chin position, and repeat three times. In most cases, an exercise routine helps relieve pain associated with FHP. Exercise also improves your posture. You may want to consult with a physical or occupational therapist or chiropractor to help plan a specific exercise routine for your needs. They can also help you develop better ways to sit or stand and improve your workstation. Forward head posture is very common today as people spend long periods of time bending over a smartphone or other device. FHP disrupts your normal body alignment and can be painful or have other side effects. Exercise and stretching are effective in relieving pain and restoring proper posture. Fixing FHP requires paying attention to your posture, and maintaining stretching and specific exercises throughout the day. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.